people come together for various reasons, economic, social, religious, professional, and the list goes on. Most of the time, this coming together is for a common purpose. This week on Community Reports, we bring you closer to a group of people who contribute to the body of knowledge, those who express their ideas in words to entertain, educate, or just document happenings. I'm talking about Nigerian writers. They are those who weave words out of passion for a purpose. Books are sources of history, knowledge, inspiration, and links from the past to the present and projection for the future. It is said that those who read more, see more, and draw lots of life lessons. Stringing words together to form a book involves a writer's imagination, research, flair for writing and formal learning. In this field, a lot of Nigerians have excelled and some are still excelling on the home and international fronts, winning accolades with their published works. Some of the older generation of writers include Chinua Chebi, Professor Wale Shoyinka, Cyprian Ekwensi, Buchi Emecheta, Odia Ofiemu, Elechi Amadi, Ken Sarawiwa, Olaro Timi, Abubaka Imam, Niyi Oshundari, and Daniel Fagunwa, among other notable authors. Other prominent writers of a younger generation include Chris Abani, Ayobami Adebayo, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, Helen Abila, Abubakar Adam Ibrahim, L. Nathan John, Ogaga Ifowodo, Teddy Cole, and the list seems endless. To further encourage, stimulate, and develop indigenous talents, skills, and intellectual powers, the Association of Nigerian Authors, ANA, was formally formed 36 years ago with over 1,000 registered members across 30 states chapters. This figure is by no means a full representation of the number of authors in Nigeria, as there are many more who are not registered as ANA members but operates in their spaces. Achebe expanded the frontiers of literature in Nigeria, or the frontiers of literary association in Nigeria. Achebe was very instrumental in the, in the announcement of several talents into African literature. Achebe, we can say, in quote, discovered so many African writers, and he was particularly interested in them getting recognition, getting published. So that is the same spirit that Atebe had in mind to look into Nigeria, to look, let me and my contemporaries come together and see how we can help other writers to grow in this country. To see through the eye of a writer, here's my visit to one of Anna members who has published 10 books and also the winner of the 1995 Christopher Okibo Prize for Literature, 
75-year-old Madam Mubolaji Adenobi. Good day, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Writing is a solitary uh, activity. So I cannot tell you what it was like then with other writers and what it's like now. With We didn't have an association when we started. But now we have Association of Nigerian Authors. Some efforts were made earlier, but they didn't work out until Anna really started. In those days, there were fewer writers then than they have now. And so they paid attention to just what they were interested in. And they paid attention to what was going on around them that they felt was important. They were going through the colonial period. And so colonialism was important to them and how another culture, a very different culture, influenced their own. Uh, whether it, it did them a, any good or tried to wipe their own culture out. So that, they paid attention to that and worked on it. But that is not the situation now. Do we find writers now we write about things that interest them now, things that are happening now, things that are relevant at this time? Whether it's fiction, non-fiction, poetry, or technical writing, thousands of Nigerian literatures have been published over the decades.